Hi, this is Deborah from The Labyrinth, and this is my last recording for 2021. I want to wish everyone a wonderful, healthy, and happy new year for 2022. Let's hope it's not as sucky as 2021. Mm. Even if it is, even if it sucks, just like 2021 did, we can still make improvements in our lives and not worry about what's going on around us to have it affect us as much. Now, a lot of people don't realize that the cards are not only used for divination, they're used for other purposes. And I have a really quick tip here for the coming new year of getting rid of what you don't want anymore and then bringing in an improvement. So uh, in my family, we did reflection. We would sit around the table right before midnight and we would go around the table and each person would state a quality about themselves that they would like to change. And then we would get the pots and pans and we'd bang them all the way out to the front door. Then we'd come back in and sit down and we would talk about what we want to bring into our lives to change, to overtake the bad quality that we're getting rid of. Well, you can use the cards for that too. So what you're going to do, say you're like, oh, I don't know. You're not very self-reflective and you don't know what you want to get rid of. Shuffle the cards and we're going to just do a little test here. And I bet you there's something. Oh, here we go. Card fell out. What do you want to get rid of? This is a card of... If you look at the card of what I want to get rid of, it fell out. This was a card of the hangman. Now, the hangman means suspension, uh, delays, things being on hold, feeling stuck. But it's not necessarily feeling stuck. It's doing inner formulation as to what you want to do next. But basically, it's standing still. It's, it's a card of, of not moving, okay? So that's what I would want to get rid of is, okay, I got to put the fire under my ass to change that, right? So let's see what we need to bring in. Oh, we need to get rid of something. That's definitely what that is. This is getting rid of standing still, getting rid of a suspension, and suspension means to stand still. So this is getting rid of what I don't need anymore, which is this, which is not being, not taking any action, okay? And then this is what I want to bring in. This is a card of joy, happiness, and success. So you're going to do like a three card spread like I just did. What you want to get rid of, how are you going to get rid of it, right? And then what you want to bring in. And this is a great example of that. So here we've got suspensions, reversals, standing still, waiting. And then this is a card of just blowing it out of the water. Just nuking it. Just saying, okay, just nuke it. Get rid of it. It's not working anyway. So that's something falling that is no longer useful. And then to bring in, this is success, joy, and happiness. So try doing a spread like this for the new year. And you could even do several. I mean, we're human. We all have a lot of flaws. So don't take on too much, though. Do like maybe three max. I'd go with two. If they're really ingrained, you might gonna want to stick with one. But for the new year, and you could do it before the new year or on New Year's Eve, uh, you know, just make sure you're not drinking too much because it's not good to use this when you're drinking. You don't want to be in an altered state. So you're going to pull the first card, shuffle them and pull the first card out. What do I need to get rid of? And then the second one, how do I get rid of it? And then the third one, what am I replacing it with? So let's do it again and see if we get the same kind of spread. Let's just, just for giggles, let's see what's going to happen. What do I need to get rid of? Okay, this is a card of trying to come into balance between emotional world and physical world. It's a card of compromising but not compromising yourself. So this is a card of trying to come into balance, but not, okay? Then how to get rid of it. This is a balance card. This is trying to decide what's important right now in my life and what is not, what to get rid of out of my head that I don't need anymore. It's a restriction, but it's a restriction in a good way. And then what's gonna take its place? There we go. This is a card of satisfactory conclusion. It's a card of changes for the better. It's a card of movement. So here, if you're looking at these two spreads, they kind of have the same energies, but we're going deeper with them from one to the other. This is being stuck, not doing anything. This is nuking it and getting rid of it. This is having positive energy come in and happiness and joy. Then here we've got trying to come into balance. This is actually deciding what to balance with, what to do, what's important, what isn't. And this is satisfactory conclusion and moving forward and the end of this cycle. So here it is, you know, just put it up to spirit. Show me what I got to see. What do I need to get rid of? How do I get rid of it? And what is coming in after that to take its place? I hope that this is helpful to you people. Even You could even use this with uh, oracle cards if you wanted to. But make it simple. Three card spread. Uh, 
you can use it definitely with the Tarot, but you could also use it with Oracle. Don't mix and match Oracle and Tarot or two Oracle decks. Use one deck to do this, okay? I think it's kind of fascinating when you do stuff like this with the cards other than just, you know, a spread for somebody, okay, for divination. This is a form of divination, but it's a little different than what you're used to seeing me do. The cards can be used for many, many different things, Say that in this first spread here that I'm seeing bringing something in, which is joy and happiness, I can approach this on many levels. I can approach this on the physical level, such as being more active, getting out in nature more, on the mental level of maybe studying something that I like to study to enrich my mind, on the emotional level of, you know, not flying off the handle like I normally do, not looking into things too much. Uh, in other words, finding that balance emotionally. And on the spiritual level, it could also be, you know, hey, trust spirit, it's gonna be all right no matter what. So you can approach this on many different levels, on all four levels, and give it a try and let me know what you come up with. Again, any kind of suggestion that you have for 2022, I'm, I'm all ears. Please leave your suggestions below, leave your comments below, give a thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't give a rat's ass, you know about that. Give a call if you have a question, 239-939-2769. And I am available for readings over the phone. I'm available at the House of Spirits in Fort Myers on Fridays and Saturdays for readings and also to schedule classes. So I hope everyone has a wonderful, happy and safe New Year's Eve. Don't go drinking and driving. If you're gonna go drinking, call one of those places to drive you home. But take a cab. Do not drive while drunk, okay? It's, it's really bad. It only takes a second to cause problems on the road. Have a safe and happy new year and blessings to everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.